morning. It's week two of my uh, training plan for the Thames Pass Challenge. And uh, today I'm down in Folkestone. Always really lovely to run by the sea. I absolutely love it. Six miles easy today along the coastline here. So peaceful, can't hear any waves this morning. I travel around a great deal for my job and uh, if you watch any of my other running vlogs you'll see some of the places that I've been I've been doing walking and running and stuff but yeah check out the other running vlogs on the channel so far there's some nice uh, footage up in Loch Lomond in Scotland uh, Pembroke, Pembroke Castle and uh, all different areas it's up in Gloucestershire I think I went as well yeah I'm going to try and start documenting a little bit more I do get to see some really lovely places around the UK. I mean, uh, look at these colourful beach huts here. <laughs> They're cool. Well, you can tell you get near 50 when you think beach huts are cool, are cool, right? Did my first bit of volunteering this weekend at an ultra event. It was called the Rose of the Shires. 54 mile ultra around the, the county that I live in, Northamptonshire. Really wanted to give back to the uh, community, you know, the ultra running community. And uh, it's a local company, Go Beyond Challenges, or Go Beyond. And a really, really lovely day. I realized how much I like helping people. And it was great to see the, uh, yeah, the top runners coming in, the woman. Rachel Price, who won the female event, came second overall up the whole field, about 100 runners. She smashed the women's course record by an hour, and she averaged eight minutes, 50 seconds to 54 miles. That's incredible running, right? Great to see so many good runners. Great to give back to this lovely sport that I'm really enjoying. And I'm definitely going back to do some more volunteering with them next month at the ultra that I first took part in called Spires and Shires shout out to Ash might be watching this video it'd be good to go back there and provide some support and volunteer work as I build up to my own race the Thames Pass Challenge in September last time I stayed in Folkestone I walked past this crazy thing here and I don't know what it is so if you know what this is then please do let me know Maybe it was an old lighthouse or something. I don't know, but that looks like... Oh, there's a sign. Oh, there we go. It's an actual piece of artwork. It's an art installation. It looks like uh, what Doctor Who would use when he went on holiday. It's like a, a holiday TARDIS. <laughs> we finally hear the sea. We should be up there. How do I get back up there? Oh dear. <laughs> so here's a zigzag path. It says on that sign back there if you look very closely, you'll see that these zigzag paths is man made. No shit. Pretty cool things to have next to uh, next to the sea. Though I mean, it does look cool, doesn't it? Feels like you're walking through a uh, 
theme park. That was a nice, good six mile easy run this morning around Folkestone. I saw these in my uh, walk yesterday. Look at these. These are a bit crazy. They look like snakes, but they're obviously made of metal or iron. The railing. Well, it looks like the sun's coming out after I finish my run. It's going to break up the cloud. It's going to be a lovely day. Fortunately for the most of most of my run, it was thick fog. <laughs> Apart from when I went down to the beach. So at least that was a nice section. Anyway, catch you next time. I have to show you this weird old lift. One person at a time goes in. You've never seen a lift like this before. <laughs> it's, uh, it's got a carpet on the, it's got a carpet on the walls. It's a tiny little thing. Pull a shirt like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't really know what to make of it really, but it's a bit bonkers, isn't it? Look at these doors. The doors automatically open. And then you have to push the outside door. <laughs>